Welcome in everyone. It is Super Bowl weekend, although we gotta be a little honest, we definitely recorded this a little bit before time. So we don't actually know who's in the Super Bowl, so we can't be like, go whatever or go whatever. <laughs> but if the Eagles are in the Super Bowl, then go birds. And if not, then fuck Dallas. Speaking of which, you're not an Eagles fan. No, I'm not. You wanna explain why you're wearing the Eagles jersey then? Lost. I guess the Cowboys lost to the ego, uh, Eagles, um, so I got stuck wearing an Eagle jersey. I see. That was my punishment. I love it. So. I love it when I get to shit on Dallas fans. Speaking of which, <laughs> Mama T and I have been friends for a long time. Yes. And before today's podcast started, we were kind of talking behind the scenes about like Super Bowls that we watched together. And there was one in particular. Um, it's a very famous Super Bowl. It's the one that Marshawn should have ran it. Oh, now, yeah, yeah. you, you're an interesting kind of fan. <laughs> uh, I like to consider you a bandwagon kind of uh, fan. No. You are, kind of, Let okay? Me just, because no, no, no. when I met you, hold on. When I met you, you were a Cowboys fan, and we went at it for, I used to talk shit to you, so you used to talk shit to me. And then the Cowboys started to suck. And then you were like, yeah, I was born in Texas. I was, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. And then they started to suck a little bit. And then all of a sudden, you're like, I'm an Oregonian from the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Go Seahawks. Coincidentally, the years that they're doing really, really well. No, it was just luck. I knew my gut was telling me. See, here's the thing, I'm not a bandwagon fan. Mm. I, you know, I don't really care about football, so I don't really have a football team, but I usually try to root for teams like Cowboys. I was born in Texas near Dallas, so okay. Did you say you don't take it seriously? Football? Yeah. Because <laughs> I need to finish I telling my story. Oh, God. Okay, go ahead. Because it was during the Super Bowl where Marshawn should have fucking ran the ball. Okay. And I was rooting. Um, I wasn't even rooting for anyone. Because as like anyone at that point, I didn't like the Patriots. I wanted Tom Brady to go fuck himself. Yeah. He beat the Eagles in 05 at that time. We came back and slapped his ass in 2018, though. <laughs> Nick Foles tapped that ass. Anyways. Um, so yeah, I was just I was just trying to watch a game because I didn't care for the Seahawks and I didn't care for the Patriots. But when the Seahawks lost the Super Bowl at the very last second, mm -hmm. I started celebrating because it was a crazy ass play, and you slapped the shit out of me, not in my face. Let me not just say face. this: not I don't face. remember this. You slapped the shit all. out of my arm. You're like, shut the fuck up, blah. <laughs> I don't. I was like, this. damn. I don't remember this. I don't think it Maybe happened. you were drinking a little bit. Maybe. Because I, I wouldn't I, do that. Like, I don't. Oh, I remember. Mm. Maybe I you remember. were just pissing me off at that moment in time. I was just so angry. It was an amazing play, and I just reacted to it. And, like, it's unfortunate that your team at that point <laughs> lost at that moment. But, like, I'm sorry. It was a great play. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, if I did that, I apologize. But I don't, it's I all honestly good. don't remember. It's all and good. I'm not a physical, like, aggressive person no, at no, all. No, 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 so, no. You were just reacting. I think it, it didn't just even hurt. Reaction. Like, I laughed. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> but that yeah. was, that was a funny moment. <clears throat> that was a funny ass moment. Um, anyways. So, today, we are celebrating super. I also want to apologize and also not apologize about the condition of the shirt. Oh, well. It just shows how long I've been faithful to the Eagles. It looks like shit. Yeah. But that's okay. I've been through all the shit, so, all the losses. You're not from Philly. You're no. not even from America. Why, why are you Eagles fan? You know, I get asked this a lot <laughs> because people, especially now after we won the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. people are like, oh, he's definitely a bandwagon fan. Yeah. But the truth is this. When I first moved to America, I moved, I, I spent a little bit of time in New York, but it didn't really matter, it was a few months. And then I went to Washington DC area. Yeah. And I naturally, I've always loved sports. I naturally gravitated towards American sports mm -hmm. and American teams and teams from DC. Yeah. So I am a, a, a Wizards fan, I'm a Caps fan, I'm a Nats fan. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I went to George Mason University. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. uh, I, I, proudly root for DC with a lot of things. Yeah. For me, as yeah. a 10 year old, I've, I just thought that the uniforms that the Redskins mm -hmm. wore, okay, I was 10. Yeah. And I didn't have a football team. I didn't have allegiance. I didn't even know what football was when I came here. I just, there was something about 
that they were ugly. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, it looks like ketchup and mustard. Yeah, yeah. they look like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> like seriously, to yeah. me, like it just, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't get down with it. Yeah, yeah. That and also their fans. Holy shit, they were annoying as fuck. Cause like I, w I spent like two years just watching football, just yeah. watching as a fan. I'm like, wow, this is great, you know. And noticing Redskins fans were like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. I didn't want to get down with them. I get um, that. And I'll be honest, uh, do the Eagles being good in, in 2002, 2003 have something to do with me probably being inspired to root for them? Probably. Yeah, but you know, it's understandable. But my counter argument is like, yeah, I started rooting for the Eagles in like 2001, 2002. And then my first experience as an Eagles fan, I hard Eagles fan, watching every game, you know, buying jerseys, like a fan that supports his team with yeah. money, okay? Yeah. Not just some weirdo screaming at the TV. <laughs> I watched them go to three NFC championships and lose. And yeah. then I watched them go to a Super Bowl and lose. Yeah. Now, if I was a bandwagon fan, there's no better time to leave than then. Yeah, yeah. And I stuck through it all. From 05 to 18, a lot of ups and downs. The Michael Vick team was the most fun team I've ever watched. I love- Not a great guy, but good player. He's, he did his time. He Don't did his matter. time. It I, shows. Look, it shows who he is as a person. To me, I would not want to befriend or be in the same room as somebody like that. I don't care how Correct. famous you are. However. But he plays good, or he did. No, yeah, Michael Vick is, come on. And he was out of Virginia Tech. To me, that was like, that's why I love Michael Vick. You yeah. know, I grew yeah. up in Northern Virginia. He's a fucking hero in Virginia. Yeah. Like Superman hero, and he played like Superman. Michael Vick is the most amazing football player I've ever seen play. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot of great ones, but he's the best. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Mm -hmm. I suffered with this fucking team. Yeah. But I don't think I have a rhyme or reason other than thinking that the Redskins, just their uniform just didn't click with me. Yeah. And I vibe off of uniforms. Yeah. 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 No, I I mean, I agree. I look at uniforms as well. I think whatever uniform it like attracts me or it looks good, I'm like, ooh, I kind of like that. I could just never you wear know? a Redskins jersey. Didn't their, since they changed their name, their, jer oh, yeah. their, their jerseys Sorry. changed, right? I think, no, I think they have the same colors. They have the same, oh, still? They also, by the way, worst name in football is the Commanders. Holy mm -hmm. shit, who the fuck came up with that? Oof. Terrible, but yes. My God. Yeah. They, they fucked up big there. Yeah. They had a chance. Yeah. They should have gone to like, every, I feel like every DC team should be red, white, and blue. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Caps are, right? I mean, most teams are. The Wizards are. Yeah, the Wizards are. What about DC United? They're black and They're white, like right? black and red, yeah. Yeah, they're not really. Yeah, okay. The Nats, Nats. Are, are, are pretty red. Red and white for yeah, the most part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, Anyways. Let's move on to football. Yeah, so football. So I prepared a list of a few questions pertaining around football. Okay. Um, some of these are going to be, you know, surface level questions. So some of them are going to be kind of deeper, make you think. So first one is. Okay. Should Monday after the Super Bowl be a holiday? Um, I think just for the fact that the Super Bowl is known for being a day where people drink and drive a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, because like making it a holiday, would that stop that, right? I feel like that's the biggest no, issue with think, the Super Bowl. I think having a holiday. Like why, after, how would that help? I think, I don't know, just people, you know, I don't know. I don't think it should be a holiday, but you know, I don't know what you think. Do you think it should be a holiday? Mm, no. Yeah, I don't think so either. You know? No, but like I said, there should be something done. And like, I don't know, not just putting more cops on the streets. Like, I don't know, can we, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's such a big problem. I mean, yeah. a big problem in general, I guess. But I know the Super Bowl people, there's like 200 million people getting drunk at the same time. Yeah. I, you know, I feel like Super Bowl, like that, I think Super Bowl is one of the main, I don't know what you call it, game, I guess, is like, sporting I think it's- Sporting events. Sporting event, I think it's like number one here, I feel like. In America? Yeah. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So, you know. In the world, zero chance compared to the World Cup. Yeah, so even though I don't think the Monday after the holiday should be a holiday, mm -hmm. I feel like Monday after the Super Bowl should kind of be like, if you want to go in, you can go in if you don't. 
you know, whether you're hungover, you're drunk, or you flew to the Super Bowl game and you have to fly back, you know, whatever it may be. But me personally, I wouldn't take it off. Mm -hmm. I think it would be like you know? badass to make like a sporting event part of your culture. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I've never seen that before. I feel like it almost kind of is. In American though. football, but not, I'm saying like not actually. Yeah, yeah. In American football is the most American thing there is. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Besides hamburgers? No. Hot dogs? American football is number one. American football. That's how you describe like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, America is represented by football. Hmm. Okay, so next question. This one's gonna be a little deeper. Okay. Should athletes speak out on social or political issues? Um, I think it's a it's a dicey situation because most athletes have a lot of sponsors that have a lot of mission statements or lean one way politically mm -hmm. or another. So like while I think yes, anyone especially with someone with a platform, should mm -hmm. speak out on things that they believe in, mm -hmm. they should also be aware that there may be financial consequences for doing so. Mm -hmm. And I just wish that like, mm. maybe, mm. I don't know, you know, it becomes dicey because like now, are the sponsors controlling what's being said? Because if an athlete or anyone really comes out and says, speaks up against someone, Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not saying like LeBron James or these guys who can say whatever they want and they're protected. Yeah. But what like what about a mid-level athlete who has maybe like a small following and he speaks out on it? Every single sponsor in his team would drop him immediately. Yeah. You know, and so it's it's difficult because it's a social and or political issue that just all gets it all just comes down to money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and so it's like yeah. Yes, but. Everyone is aware that everything is just about money. Yeah, and you know, that brings me to my second question, which I kind of want to... Um, Wait, what do you think? Uh, well, it brings me to my second question. So oh, my explanation okay. is going to be in this second oh, question. Oh, okay, okay, So okay. the second question is, um, do sports teams have a responsibility to hold their players to a standard for their personal conduct? Um, oh, are you oh, going to answer? Go ahead. I'll oh, no, 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 no. You. Oh, sorry, I thought you were asking. No, go for it. Well, I'm asking, but you can answer first. So. Okay. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> so back to the first one. I think, you know, I'm all for freedom of speech, but football is a job to these players. I don't have freedom of speech at my job, right? I can't say, fuck you. I can't say certain things, right? Because mm -hmm. otherwise you get fired, right? So I feel like um, when it comes to social or political issues, I'm all for freedom of speech, but if it's gonna hurt somebody or uh, be detrimental to your team, because you have to think about everybody else as well. But that's subjective, right? But it's not. But also, because no, no. also, a lot of these players, um, uh, a lot of these men, unfortunately, are not good men. Um, you know, they do things that are illegal or they should not do, and there's no consequences. I feel like Michael Vick, for instance, he should have never came back and played. Why are you bringing him back? Um, I forgot this, I forgot, I don't, I can't keep track of these players, but one guy, like, in the elevator, like, beat his girlfriend, and oh, he still uh, got to play. Ray Rice. Yeah, he didn't do I mean, but he, he played for, I mean, yeah, it was he crazy. He still got to play, is what I'm saying. He, he, yeah, he did. Immediately, contract cut you should not be playing anymore for any team. Like, you're out of the NFL. But there's, like, a double standard because they're a good player. You can find there's multi, there's so many players, okay? Like, oh. is having a star player who murdered and raped a pregnant girlfriend, I'm not saying it was Ray Bryce, but, you know, mm -hmm. it has happened before. Mm -hmm. Why should they still be a star on your team? Why would you want that person, you know? Because the owners of these teams want to make money. They don't give a the fuck. The owners of these teams, I'm not going to say... Not the Eagles owner. What type of people He's they a G. are. But they're fucking idiots. You know? I mean, I don't know. Is it the owners that make the decision on what players they get to choose? Or they, is it... They own the team. Yeah, but, like, do they make every decision? No. Exactly. They hire people for that, but it's still their team. Yeah. But, I don't. you know, I don't know. I, I think just, I slightly disagree with you. But not with the point that you were making. I agree with the points that you were making that, yeah. that professional players always get, always have like, they get away with a lot more than you and I could. That's what I'm That's saying. That's what I would say. I just feel like and it needs unfair. to be more strict. 
It's it, a job. Right. I don't care if you're making ten dollars right. or fifty million. It is a job. Right. And there's somebody can replace you. I mean, think about it. There have been multiple quarterbacks for multiple teams that no, have all been great. Right, right. You can you are replaceable. Right. Right. So my point is, and that's why I kinda like I don't really pay attention to football much anymore, because I just every day there's like some new article of this player doing something and I'm just like, how is he still playing? How is he still making money? How is his wife still with him? No, you know, right. like, like the whole Deshaun Watson thing. I don't, I don't know about that one. What's that? Oh, I mean, I don't know too much either because yeah. I try not, I try to stay out of like. I don't follow football. Like I only follow the Eagles, and yeah. anything outside of the Eagles, I just like, oh, well, what's going on? But I think the case is this: that there's like 30 women in a massage parlor. 30. 30 women made, it's, it's, I don't know if it's 30, but it is a large number of yeah. women. It could be 12, I don't know. But yeah. it's more than one for sure. Yeah. Um, made claims that are like sexual assault. I don't know to what level, to what degree. I don't know the details. But I just know that there's multiple women against Deshaun Watson. That's why he was suspended for a while in 2022. Wow. But suspended. still got a new contract and all that jazz because he's really good. I don't care. I would have cut off his dick if I was one of those ladies. Like, <laughs> I just don't, like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Why are players still allowed to play, even if they go to jail and come back and play, or they're suspended, or they, uh, what is it? They're on, um, what is it? Um, not parole, but, um, damn, what's the word? Probation. Okay. Um, you know, they still can play. So it's like, I don't get that. Well, so I think teams, I know the owners will never will, because they're old white men. They just need a croak already. Most of them are. Um, they're usually... I'm a gonna, certain mindset. I'm going to defend Michael Vick for one second then. Sure, defend him all you want. Um, he's not a good person. No, <laughs> sure, that's your that's your personal opinion. Okay, so that how are you going to defend him? No, 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 I'm just saying this, okay? I'm just saying this. I'm just saying look at the other side of the coin, okay? Hold on, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, please. Um, Michael Vick, okay? <laughs> yeah is a citizen and it was judged by his peers in the court room where they decided what would be fair as punishment for his crimes that he was guilty for. So he paid his dues to society. I know he spent a lot of money donating back. I'm not saying that any action that Michael, hold on, please. I'm not saying that any action that Michael Vick does for the rest of his life will ever be, be, be justifiable for what the horrors that he caused for many animals, many people, and, and everything that was involved with what he did while he was with the Falcons. Yeah. But at the same time, he served his time, and the only way that this person can make money and oh. provide for his family. Oh, is by playing football. Yes. You can go to McDonald's and work. You have all this money, where is it in savings? You just spend it all because you're an idiot? Is he gonna get a $2 million, $5 million contract from McDonald's? You don't, but like, there's more, you like, see, uh, seriously? A person should not, th their earning potential should not be hindered just be, they paid for their crime. Why, why do you want to keep them like b down there? What I'm why, saying is they shouldn't be going back to play football. If you are guilty of well, something. Why not? Just it's like, just a job, just like, like you it's said. It's hard for felons to get just, a, like just regular people, felons or whatever, to get jobs at McDonald's right, which, or whatever. Which should change, which is, is a horrible fact of society that people that go to prison have a difficult have difficulty getting a job afterwards. But they shouldn't. But that's not my problem, and that's no. That's but that's their rooted problem. in this because you're trying to say just because Michael Vick went to prison that he shouldn't be able to get don't a job when he gets the out. Law, then. What do you mean? How is that? I don't. I have never broken the law. What? Like somebody has to be sick. When you break mentally? a law, you pay the crime for it. He pays. But you should not be he, able to sorry, go you back pay the price for and it. play football. He Why? can find a different job. Why because not Because you're representing football? the team. You're representing the, the, the league. Like, that's bad representation. I mean, all the NFL, NBA, all of them, they're all corrupt, and it's all sick. And you don't think... But NFL is probably the one that I've noticed, the sport that I've noticed, where players just kind of, meh slide right through. Okay, let me know? ask you this. You don't think there's a single person at Apple or Google with a criminal history? A single, per one person. Not not multiple, not a majority. One person. Sure, there is. Okay. They sh if they're employed by Google, 
You see what I'm saying? Like, these teams if are just somebody, employers. If somebody has been found guilty of something, usually that company will fire you because they don't want you coming back. So, you okay, know, I mean, let's say I committed. Let's a, say my job, I went out and committed a crime, and I got I got in jail or whatever. If I was found guilty, I could not go back to work. They would like I would be automatically terminated. If you and that's real world. If you committed a crime, if I committed a crime and was found guilty, did my time, whether it was. Um, you know, probation or actually served time. Mm -hmm. If I try to come back to that job, let's say it was like six months or right. whatever. Right. Um, if I try to come back to that job, they're gonna be like, no, we filled your spot. Like you, like we don't want you representing our company. Right. But okay, Michael, Vic, Michael Vick didn't go back to the Falcons. He found a new job. What in the NFL? Right, but right, with the right. Eagles. Oh, okay. The NFL okay. is just like the commission. Let's, uh, let's go to the next. Uh, um, Michael Vick. No, Michael Vick, you're a horrible person. No, you're not. You are a very sick you, individual. He paid for his crime. But He did. He paid okay. for his crime. If I did what he did, would you look at me the same way? Or would you look at I, me as an awful person? I would person? never forgive you for hurting animals like that. So why do you defend him? I'm not defending <laughs> him hurting animals. I'm defending his ability to go back to work after he did his time. Yeah, I don't think, I, I just don't think anybody should be able to do that. But, so Then you're part of the problem. How am I part of the problem? Because you just like, like. Why should we help people who are dumb enough to break the law? Because it depends on the crime. Not every crime is the same. Well, yeah, no. sure. A serial rapist shouldn't get hired. Yes, I 100% agree. Somebody selling a little bit of weed she can't work. Like, what the fuck? Well, you those, see what I'm? They're different. Those are different. That's my point. But the dog fighting is a very serious fucking crime. Yes. Very serious. Yes. Yes. But like I said, that's not up to you. Or to me, we can have our personal opinions. And I agree with you. It's a horrific act that he committed, and I wish he didn't. But we have things in order and in place that handle this for us. Yeah. There was a judge that knows way more about law than we do. And there, I'm sure there was a lot of lawyers and a lot of people involved that know way more. And it was, it was decided in a courtroom. Like, yeah. how more just and fair do you want to get? It's not like he got away with it and it was just playing next week and there's mad footage how of him killing How more fair dogs. and just? Um, you don't get to make millions of dollars of money. You can you can be Again. a normal person. What do you mean? But anyway, so number three. This one is kind of juicy. Okay. <laughs> okay. More juicy than Michael Vick? Okay, pause. <laughs> <laughs> That's so okay, we're gonna take that out because that sounds a oh, little <laughs> weird. Okay, um, so number three, trans should transgender sport uh, sports players wait, transgender sports players should not be allowed to compete in the Olympics. Agree or disagree? Um, I know this is a very touchy subject, mm -hmm. so I have to be careful. Yeah. My personal opinion is that anyone should be able to compete in any thing that they want to. Yeah. But the same way that there are weight classes, because it wouldn't be fair for somebody who's 250 pounds in the UFC mm -hmm. to fight someone who's 140, that's not fair. That's yeah. why you divide them. Yeah. Okay? Um, I feel like there should be some form of regulation, and I don't know how that would even, I don't, I'm not sure how that would happen. Um, but I do believe it should be separate as to like, yeah, everyone should be able to play any sport that they desire, and like their, yeah. their gender identity should not impede them from competing in any sport in, in the world. Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah. But, I can see um, the other side of the argument as well. You know, if I had a daughter competing in some sport and I don't know, it doesn't matter the age, Yeah. you know? I, as a man, can objectively say, and you know, like I would be like, I can't try to be so PC all the time as to ignore fucking scientific facts and the scientific yeah. facts is that on average yeah on average okay every every woman in the ufc can kick my ass yeah but on average a male will be stronger than a female 
on average. I'm not saying there's probably thousands, hundreds of thousands of women that can flip me three times in the air and, and like destroy me in 10 seconds. Yeah. They're, they are out there. But on average, if you randomly selected a woman from across the world and put her to fight me, I would bet on me. Yeah. That is, that is like, it's not, I'm not trying to say men are better, men are this, men are that, we, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like, you can't deny biology. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I didn't inject anything into my body to, to be more muscular, to be naturally more muscular than you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. It's just what I am. And so like to deny that, you're also denying my like ability to 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 like to express my self because like yeah, I feel like it should be separated. Yeah. And I want to compete against men only. I don't want to compete against women. Yeah. Like why can I have a choice as well? Yeah. It's like no, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't I choose? Yeah. Like, no, I, I identify with competing with men. Can I say that? That's what I identify with. You could, with. but somebody else would get too sensitive. And, no, when it comes to competition I, in sports, I identify with competing with men. It's part yeah. of my identity. Yeah. And you can't take that from me. Yeah. And that's why I feel like this, this subject is, is touchy, but I can see the other side of the coin. I can see angry dads. I can see angry moms. I can see both sides as well. You know, you, know, you should be able to compete, but... I think my whole thing is... I don't know. Are hormone replacement therapies, are they like... Like if a player finds out, or if a sports team finds out a player does those, like they get suspended, right? Because it's a drug? I don't know. It depends on like I'm just the thinking, sport, the ruling body. Yeah. I, it, it, it truly depends. I don't know. Because I'm just thinking, like, I'm the same way as you. I don't care how you identify what you are, like, you know, be you, like, love yourself. 100%. Sure, compete, do what you want to do. Right. But my whole thing is if transgender, um, people who identify as transgender, if they're taking HRTs mm -hmm. and those are, you know, if they find out you do and they're banned, but regular um, mm -hmm. uh, players can't mm -hmm. do that, I feel like that's a disadvantage. Like just because you're going through a transition, you're allowed to be on HRTs or some type of drug or whatever it may be to go through that transition. Mm -hmm. But the normal, the normal player or the player that's not transgender can't. To me, I'm like, mm. now I don't know if that's a thing. I'm just saying I'm thinking of it as like that. That's the only issue I'd have a problem with. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Otherwise, I would want like in the locker room. If a man came in who is transitioning, I don't want to see male parts in the locker room while I'm changing. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll respect you, but I don't want to see that. And vice versa, no man, I mean, men like boobies, but like, you know what I'm saying? No man is going to want, you know, like a female who still has boobies, who's transitioning into a man, like in their locker room. Yeah, they would. Well, men are just You're like, ah. <laughs> no, I think men would find it strange, but uh, no, you know. I mean, if, it, if like, if my homie was going through a transition, and like we were boys and like they're starting to get boobs and stuff and like, i would ask him if i could play with it if he was like completely chill with it like as friends non-sexual like can i just go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> like completely as just friends like bro from like bro to bro bro to bro like yeah no remember the old times with me mm, just for no. one second i respect you i'll call you whatever name you want I'll, whatever all that yeah but let me just go blah, blah, blah. yeah uh, no <laughs> but you know otherwise i think yeah i think you know you should play whatever sport you want to play with i just don't think you should be on certain i think you should be drug free you know i don't care if it's medical you're taking hormones to make you bigger or whatever stronger right mm -hmm. or whatever it may be that's not fair to the others. Isn't that a question? That's why you sent it to me ahead of time. Should performance enhancing drugs be allowed in professional sports? Oh, wow. Can I give my take? Yeah, go ahead. I think fuck yes. Like go crazy. I want to see LeBron James on steroids. Like show me that shit. Mm, yeah. I want to see him just fucking jump up 50 feet in the air. Like, <laughs> what? Hell yeah. Like go crazy. Like, you know, whatever they were like, yeah. Creating in the in the in the back of the lab. Do it. Bring that shit out. Why not? Yeah. I mean, I, I know there's agree. a lot of no. because of the health concerns. 
I'm completely against it. Only yeah. because of the health issues that most performance enhancing drugs will give you. But I think athletes should be allowed to. Why not? I don't think so. Why I think because I think somebody's skill should be based on their natural ability. Because anybody could be a good player taking steroids and fuck. I could be a fucking superstar basketball player if I film yeah, my exactly. shit. Exactly. It but would that's up not the my product. Natural, no, that's not my natural ability. Though. As a fan, I would love to see like a fucking football match between two roided out teams. That would be amazing. Sure, the hits would be crazy. Thing. I would not want to see that. Cause I'm like, these people are just on drugs. They look ridiculous. First of all, most people who do that are disgustingly okay, like. But like if they were allowed, can you imagine how far science would be with like performance enhancement? But why do you need performance enhancement to do anything? Is what I'm saying. Like, why do you need it? To perform better. Why? You just suck. Think of a different job or a different sport to play. You know, I'm if you suck, you suck. It's okay, like to suck. That sport's not for you. Find something else that is going to be. But for they're you. professionals. I feel yeah. like that should be I the rule. I don't think you're professional. Once you're if professional, you take drugs. That's no. not professionalism. Okay, look, I'm just speaking. That's called cheating. But if everyone's doing it, then who cares? But, like that's what I'm saying. But if not it's everybody's open. going to want to do it. Okay. So how is that? You then, know. Then the league ain't for you, boss. No. There's there's the natural league and the performance league. That's what we'll do. Yeah. Nat natural league for people who are like, no, I don't want to be all big and strong. I get it. I get it. Health concerns. That league is going to pay way I mean, less. People won't even take the yeah. So no, I. I want. I disagree. Roided out league and natural league. Both both can coexist. No, just one. Again, I would love to see. Can you imagine an NBA game just like, it'd be like Space Jam, just like monsters, you're like Whoa. Why, these guys wouldn't be running fast, they'd like. Okay, yeah, maybe not no. roids. I'm talking about performance <laughs> enhancement, period. That'd be crazy. I would love steroids to see Steroids are considered that as well. No, I know, but steroids make you big in your joints all week. So like, I don't know if I'd love to see LeBron steroids. I just meant like LeBron with performance enhancement, like. What else is performance enhancing besides steroids? There's a whole lot, I don't know. Like, hmm. shit, like, isn't testosterone? I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, give them some crazy shit. Give them fucking meth or cocaine. Shit, fuck it, go crazy. <laughs> Maradona was playing on coke all throughout the 80s. That motherfucker was a fucking genius. Look up a Maradona video. I wanna see LeBron on coke. That's what I want. Fuck steroids, give me a LeBron on coke. Just like crazy, like. <laughs> okay, so next question. Do sports players get paid too much? And then let's talk about women versus men pay. Okay. Do you think it should be equal or do you think it's fine where it's at? Um, I think I'll be able to answer both questions, uh, I guess in one smooth way, I guess. Yeah. Um, I don't think that athletes get paid too much because they get, it's a product and they get paid according to whatever the, their, their employer decides to pay them. Yeah. Um, nobody's forcing anyone. Nobody's robbing anyone. Yeah. If any employer contacted you and said, hey, you want to come work for us for five years, we'll give you $20 million, anybody and their mother would say yes. Yeah. So I think it's the same thing that's happening here. They provide a product, which is entertainment. Same reason actors get paid a lot. Same reason musicians get paid a lot. Sports are extremely entertaining. Yeah. You have fans, I mean, you know how it is. Yeah. Sports is just part of human culture. As part of human culture as music and like movies and books are. It's, yeah. it's just part of human culture. Yep. Some people may not like it, but you can't deny the fact that it is part of human culture. And I, I feel like people get paid for the product that they put out. The yep. women versus men pay, should it be equal? I don't understand that question. I feel like you should get paid whatever it is that you're, you deserve. I think the question is for, so I agree with you. I think sports players, like they're a product, you know, whatever their contract is, whatever, right? Like you, right. you can't control that. If you have Nike, Adidas, you know, you have all these sponsors, right? Like right. you're a product. Right. But when it comes to men versus women, there is a significant, hmm. huge difference. Hmm. I'm talking thousands versus millions, okay? Men get paid millions. Right. Women get paid in the thousands, like right. like very little. Right. I think it should be, you know, if you're playing basketball, whether you're a male or female, mm. you know, I feel like the pay needs to be equal or it needs, I mean, I'm glad that the US team has finally fought and they are gonna get equal pay as men finally, as, mm. the, as the men players. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but I think if you're in a if you're a woman in soccer, you should get paid the same as, or relatively close, not have such a huge fucking difference mm -hmm. um, to the male players. Now, obviously, soccer players may not make as much as NFL. Like I don't know. It just depends on the player, right? But I know some sports make more money than than others. But I feel like within that sport, whether you're male, female, or however you identify, mm -hmm. whether you're transgender, because I know eventually when more and more people start coming out as that, there's they might. I feel like the pay is going to be different for them as well, and that shouldn't be. It should all be equal, okay, I, within that sport. I completely disagree with you. That's great. Completely disagree. Let's go to the next question. Wait. Because I feel like we can argue about this forever. Oh, no. I'm going to say my point. <laughs> You're not you, just... But you just did. Oh, no, no, no. About... This is ridiculous. Men and women pay should not be equal just because they're playing the same sport. Okay. I think it... Let me, can, I, can I finish my point? Okay. It's ridiculous because it's a product. Okay? The reason that WNBA players don't make as much as NBA players is because nobody shows up to the games. If you're not putting out a product that can sell, and that's any product, whether you're a musician, whether you're an actor, the quality of the product is not entertaining enough to get sales. You're like a shitty artist. Sorry, yo, yeah. your music kind of sucks. You, you didn't sell out. Whereas you look at men's basketball, and it's not about men versus women, it's about product versus product. Because Serena Williams can sell out seats. So it has nothing to do with women versus men. Maria Sharapova can sell out seats. Mm -hmm. Okay? The the US women's national team can, can sell, sell out seats. seats. Yeah. So like I know that they may be a different argument because mm -hmm. there could be a case that the women's national team maybe does earn more than the men's. Beca no. Just because no. no 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 I'm saying I'm saying their product oh, bring, yeah, yeah. brings in more money. Just because the women's U.S. soccer team is miles ahead of the men's. They've mm -hmm. won multiple World Cups. It's completely opposite almost. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, I could see the case in that very singular and particular case where it's U.S. women's national soccer team versus men's. And I don't even know the facts yeah. there. It's possible that the men's actually out-earn the women. It's possible. Yeah. But I don't know. Outside of that, I think it's completely ridiculous. You earn whatever your product brings in. And whoever is signing those checks is like, that's all it's about. This whole like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if you and I were artists, and just because we make the same genre of music and we have a very similar album, but my shit is really good and your shit is just okay, and I sell out a stadium, 100,000 people, and you only bring 20,000 people in. And you're like, oh no, I should be getting paid as much as you. It's not fair, I make the same kind of music. I'd be like, but do you though? It's the same genre, but I got fucking bangers. Yeah, I still disagree, so. Uh, number five, should all young sports players get a trophy? Like a participation trophy? I don't know, I'm assuming so. Um. I know this is like a such a, like a boomer meme, right? To make about like millennials, <laughs> but at the same time, I think yeah, particip participation trophies are bullshit. Yeah. Like, for me, anyone outside of first, second, or third, go home, get the fuck out of here. You yeah. don't get any medals, you don't get anything. Yeah, you're either third place, bronze, silver, or gold. Yeah, um, I, f I feel like most sports follow this dynamic, at least one or two. Yeah. Um, but no, you're sixth place. Like, thank you for coming. Try again next year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in agreement with you. I feel like for me personally, like if I sucked, I wouldn't want to just get a participation trophy. Right. Cause then if I get a trophy to me, that means like, Oh, like I did a good job. Like, like I'm rewarded. Right. But for me, it's like, no, I did a shitty job. I should not get a trophy. I need to practice and, you know, and get my skill better. I feel like participate. I like when my son was in, um, cause he did soccer for a little bit growing up and you know, he was like two, three, four, five, but they did that. They gave all the players, you know, mm -hmm. medals or mm -hmm. little, mm -hmm. usually like little medals and banners and ribbons. Mm -hmm. Um, all the kids got that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't know how I felt about that. You know, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't. I understand why they do that, so no kid doesn't feel left out. 
I mean, but I also think you're setting the tone of also sports because sports aren't always like that. Uh, sports are not like that as an adult, right? Like not the whole team, unless it's like a Super Bowl or a championship, right? But like MVP is one player. Not everybody gets a trophy for being the best player, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, I feel like learning and setting the tone for future, like I think it just, I think it sends the wrong message. So I don't, I don't think trophies should be. I agree. I know? also think from personal experience that it might be more of an American issue when it comes to yeah. soccer specifically, yeah. because growing up in Brazil, if you're playing any kind of like little league, it is not this like little Mickey Mouse shit that you see here. Yeah. Like, oh, go ahead, Timmy. Oh, everybody gets a ball. Oh, every, oh it doesn't matter what the score is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, go over here. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it's not like that at any age. Yeah. And so when it comes to soccer, obviously, Brazilians are just bred differently. And so like I never experienced participation trophies. And I yeah. competed from the time I was like five. Yeah. And yeah, you lose, like, yeah, you go home, you suck. Yeah. You know, looking back, when I played sports, the trophies and the medals that I have were because, uh, so growing up, this might sound unbelievable, but um, uh, for seven years straight, my soccer team, same players, were undefeated. Um, and we got, tro all the team players got trophies and medals every year when we became undefeated because we never lost a game. You know, that is something that needs to be Seven rewarded. Seven years? Se I mean, mind you, we're four, five, six, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. like, wait, yeah. that should be in a newspaper. I think it was. I think my grandpa has the wait, the clipping. You went seven years undefeated. I started and, playing and, soccer. And, and, and you didn't? We, so we didn't play for a school. I played for the Hillsborough Soccer Club. So it was just a club. Um, I ended up moving away, so. Yeah, but that's the end of that. But that's when we got, we every year we got trophies. I mean, but you were and winning. We got yeah, exactly. That's not a problem. Exactly. But I think that's different. And then looking. I mean, yeah, if you win, you should get a fucking trophy. Yeah. I'm not never going to debate no, that. No, but I'm saying like, like every player on the team got one or like a medal or something like that. I wish NFL teams would put, one thing I love about soccer jerseys yeah. is they put like a star based on how many like championships you have. I wish football. I wish American teams uh, would do that. Although the they Lakers, they don't do that. I, oh yeah, maybe the Lakers have. I've seen a bunch of I stars. I think the on Lakers. I think basketball does it. Nah, because the Lakers would have like seventeen or eighteen stars. Oh. <laughs> Just to, like mm. they've done stars before. Anyways, let's move on. Yeah. Okay. So next question. I'm not sure. Um, should esports be included in the Olympics? What is esports? Uh, like video games. Like FIFA and like Call you of Duty. You can answer this one first, because uh, my answer is straight no. Um, yeah. Straight no. Um, mm. I will never, and, I, and this might make me like, one day, I know I'm going to be old for thinking this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I was born in 89, and back in the 90s, video games were, you know, like, I know, <laughs> yeah. I know that. Yeah. But I would never consider, I'm not saying it doesn't take talent. I'm not saying it doesn't take skill. But to but me, it's different. if you're sitting down and not really moving your body all that, I like, I don't know. It's difficult. I put video games in the same category of like chess and like mm. billiards yeah. and like poker. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it's competitive like and games. it's sport and it can be regulated and it's very serious and does take an incredible amount of skill to for you to be at the top of your game and you can earn a lot of money like i'm not saying any of that at all mm -hmm. but for you to sit here and, and tell me that playing call of duty is similar to playing soccer mm -hmm. you know i i have difficulty yeah you know it's like somebody like should poker be in the olympics like no yeah yeah you know no yeah shouldn't all right is esports actually in the olympics no okay I was about to say, no, I am No, but these to motherfuckers lose. fill up stadiums. Seriously? Yes. Yes. That and they, just tells you. And they have been for a while. Esports events, like major video games events, they fill, they pack stadiums. You want to talk about products? But why? Because, I mean, I mean, if you follow video games, it's cool. When I played Apex Legends, it was cool to like Are these like, like teeny boppers or are these actual like my male and female adults? Because um, I feel like, I mean. What do you mean teeny bopper? Like, what are these like young, like in their like, you know, 18, 19, I, I'm 20? I'm assuming most professional gamers 
are young males, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's I would say probably between 18 and 24. Yeah. If I had to guess, if I had to roll the dice and say a majority of video game professionals are young males. Hmm. Okay. But I mean, that shit, like, I I think it's cool. I think it's cool as shit to, like, watch a League of Legends match and, like, holy shit, the whole battle's, like, super intense. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, what's the difference between a battle in the video game and a battle that you're watching in sports? You have nothing to do with either. Well, that's the thing. From a fan. From yeah. a fan perspective, there's you're, no difference. You're a video game fan where I am not. So to me, I would not spend money or time to watch somebody play a video game. I can watch my son But play. it's a product. Like, I don't watch every sport either. You know? Well, yeah, neither do I. I don't watch handball. But I'm not going to set, set aside time to actually watch something that <laughs> e-sports. But it's not for you, though. Like I I'm said. just saying there's something wrong with the generation or population because that's insane. Like, Kim Kardashian has been on TV for 12 years. I've never yeah. watched a single show. I haven't either because it's horrible. But, well, that's what I'm saying. It's not for me, though. But Esports is just not for you. I don't think that they shouldn't make money or, or they're not legitimate or any of that. But I would have a personal opinion. Like, if it becomes something in the future and I could see that. Yeah. Because eventually they're going to get old. Yeah. The people who are playing video games now are going to get old and make laws and be like, no, this is a sport. Fuck you. Yeah. If it does, like, whatever. Yeah, I mean, whatever. But when it starts getting into the, the Olympics or some other thing, like some other thing, I'm like, no. I have an interesting question. No. What if it was, okay, would you allow eSports in the, in the Olympics? No. If it was, hold on, let me finish. If it was exactly kind of like a red, ready player one situation where you're in a video game here, but every single movement and action is your own body. Olympics is for sports. Esports, that needs to be in a different in a different thing. Not in Olympics. That is for sports. Now that would be cool. That is for sports. You are physically playing a sport or you are physically doing something. Mm -hmm. Esports, you're physically doing nothing but moving your thumb and your finger. I mean, your eyes are like. Pfft. Oh my God, that no, they I mean, should not be. That is completely different level. That you, know, you're physically actually playing. Like let's say, no, I agree it's with Madden. you. There's people actually physically playing football. No, right? I, why should you be? Why should somebody who just plays video games, like no? I agreed with you. I just said that I can see a future where that actually happens because there's too much money in it. Eventually, I don't know eventually where people world... are not going to be able to ignore the fact that video game uh, in these events make billions of dollars and they're going to be like, shit, let's throw the shit in the Olympics and make a little, like Visa and shit, they're, they're, that's all they're going to be looking at. They don't give a fuck about ethics and all that shit. I don't know. The world has gone crazy. It hasn't gotten <laughs> to that point yet, but anyways. Um, I think that's it for our questions. All right. Well, yeah. Any, any closing statements about the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl. Who's the halftime show? Rihanna? Right. Rihanna. Yeah. I hope she kicks ass. I hope it's a good one. Yeah. I hope it's a good one. Do you have a favorite Super Bowl? Uh, Super Bowl. Super Bowl. <laughs> Super Bowl halftime show? <sighs> yeah, my favorite, even though it wasn't as good, was is going to be last year's. Um, oh, Snoop I think, yeah, and all of them. Mm -hmm. Just because that's, you know, nostalgia. You know, we both grew up with listening to all those artists. So, 50 Cent looking fat as shit. Yeah. Oh my God. I couldn't. And he was hanging upside down. That's why he looked fat as shit. Poor 50 I was dog. Like, what He's is out that? here like 40 something, just like <laughs> struggling. Oh my gosh. Poor love guy. Love you, 50. Forever. No. Loved all the performances, even though some it, yeah. weren't always. And Snoop Dogg, of course, is always smoking a joint in his performance. Love it. You know, I just love how they're, you know. All these artists stay true to their their artistry, mm -hmm. whereas a lot of these other artists that have been in the Super Bowl have always changed. Whether it was more rock or more punk or more more pop, mm -hmm. but these artists, I think, it was my favorite Super Bowl. How about yours? You know, I just want to make a little comment. I still get weirded out by seeing Eminem with dark hair. Me too. I can't get over it. Me too. It's been so long, yeah. but I can't get over it. I yeah. see him and I'm like, who the fuck is that? Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, it's Eminem. Weird. Yeah, I know it's weird, right? Like at first, I'm like. It feels like an imposter almost, mm -hmm. like somebody like with a mask on or something. Yeah. Um, my favorite super, I don't know if it's my favorite, but I think the most memorable uh, was Bruno Mars. I forgot what year that was. Oh, okay. But he fucking killed that joint. Yeah. He killed yeah. that shit. Like, I'm not even a Bruno Mars fan. I'm not a I fan either, but he did a good I, job. Outside of like 24, what is that? Something magic? Something magic. Da, 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 da. See, I can't even, I, like, I don't even know. I'm not a fan, but damn, that Super Bowl, I was like, oh shit. Yeah. This dude is a, is a rock star. He has like rock star energy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shout out to Bruno Mars. 
Has yeah. he done anything recently? I don't know. I don't follow him as an artist, so I have no idea. I mean, he was popping then, and that Super Bowl, he killed that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All righty. All right. Enjoy your Super Bowl. If you drink, don't drive. And if you drive, don't drink. And if you want to, in the comment section, please leave your favorite halftime performance during the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. It could be Rihanna. Yeah, who knows? Ella, Ella, uh, Ella, eh. Isn't Jay Z eh, in that song? Eh, under my umbrella.